If there is a resting place for a poet's soul, this is Theodore O'Hara's place. I think he's one of those Kentucky characters that have been really lost to history. A lawyer, journalist, and soldier, O'Hara is buried on the state mound in the Frankfurt Cemetery. He seems to be an adventurous soul. He lived a short life, but it was full of adventure. It is here where Theodore O'Hara's contributions are best memorialized. His grave, surrounded by volunteer soldiers from Kentucky who died in the Mexican War, their bravery in the Battle of Buena Vista, remembered by O'Hara's written words. It's a somber poem, but it is uplifting in some ways because it really reminds you of the soldier. The muffled drum's sad roll has beat the soldier's last tattoo. A soldier's gift of freedom, eulogized in O'Hara's poem, Bivouac of the Dead. And glory guards with solemn round the bivouac of the dead. O'Hara penned his poem in 1847. Barely a decade later, the country erupted into civil war. And there would be hundreds of thousands of dead from that war. And this poem would resonate with all of those soldiers, with all of those vets, with all of those families. For honor points the hollowed spot where valor proudly sleeps. Kentucky Historical Society curator Bill Bright says O'Hara's Bivouac of the Dead became a national poem. It was his masterpiece. The poem is used today in cemeteries uh, across the nation, uh, most notably is at the gates at Arlington. Words from the poem's first verse are near the top of the McClellan Gate. On fame's eternal camping ground. The original entrance to Arlington National Cemetery, yet it's Frankfurt where you can be closest to O'Hara. The sword he carried in the Mexican War is displayed at the state arsenal. So the artifact, in a way, is just a key to be able to unlock the story of Theodore O'Hara. Visit the spot where Daniel Boone was reburied, and you stand where O'Hara stood that day. Well, O'Hara was one of the throng that came from downtown Frankfurt uh, to escort Boone's body back to the cemetery in 1845. Wright says O'Hara was so inspired by Boone that he penned the poem, The Old Pioneer. Thus, it is poetic that upon his own death, O'Hara would eventually be returned to this cemetery too. He was originally buried in, in Georgia, and uh, he was repatriated here in 1874. The soldier poet at final rest in Kentucky. Nor time's remorseless doom can dim one ray of glory's light that gilds your glorious tomb. With photographer Brandy Fawbush, I'm Greg Stottlemyre on Kentucky's Backroads.